everybody, man. Welcome back to my SoCal Shave. So we're going to get into a, another shaving video. And this time we're going to be using a, another soap that I picked up from a B, uh, BST uh, Dent Clearance. Um, the other one that I used uh, just the other day was uh, Bay Rum from Jesus of Hudson Street. This is the Doppelganger Ox Blood Red Label that is done in the CK6 formula from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements or Phoenix Shaving. So that is that here. Um, that is what the soap looks like there. Um, I will be giving us a rinse here in just a minute. Uh, same thing what I did with uh, the last soap uh, with the uh, Bay Rum from Jesus of Hudson Street. I also jumped off camera, give it a rinse and then uh, jump back on. And that's what I'll be doing right now. <clears throat> and uh, I have the matching aftershave splash with a new bottle almost brand new or almost full should i say excuse me so that is that there uh brush of choice would be <clears throat> my yaki uh, 26 millimeter mocha uh, badger brush i have it soaking here in the phoenix scuttle brush scuttle and um I'm gonna be using Parasol White here today from Anti Shave Bomb. And we're gonna give this razor another try. Gonna go in with the Gem 1912 <clears throat> um, razor here. And we're gonna use uh, these blades here. Now, yesterday I uh, misinformed or, or gave the wrong information. So from what I, from what I, hopefully I remember that these are the Ted Pal blades uh, and the other ones are the Pal, Pal blades. So um, I thought, um, I never, I never really looked up the Ted Pal, so I didn't know what, if it was spelled P-A-L uh, or P-E-L. And uh, that's what I thought the P-A-L P -A -A stood for was a pal palace. So I thought they were Ted Palace, but indeed they are not. So I was informed by um, Tony Paladino, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm hoping I'm hoping that's right, uh, that these were the Ted Palace blades. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead and give this a run now. And uh, if you guys know, uh, if you guys watched, uh, I use these here. These were one of my favorite blades or these were the favorite blades that I got a good shave from last uh, shave and um, crazy uh, thing here so you guys saw if you guys uh, didn't see or hopefully I remember to put a clip in there or what have you um, on screen when I switched over I, I showed the packet of the treat blades and then I showed the razor with the blade in it you guys saw that the blade was um, near finish or not, not near finish but you know there was nothing on the blade but check this out literally right after i hit the stop button and pull the blade out to get ready to clean this is what the razor looked like right after nothing was done to it i pulled the blade out rinsed it off and i thought this was just gunk uh build up but no that was immediately right after I stopped the video, pulled the blade out, and that's what I got. So I was uh, I was uh, given a tip that there was possibly the little um, microscopic like compound from the uh, grinding of the blades um, that may have uh, built up on the uh, blade without me seeing it. So um, just in case this goes or happens, you know, just in case this happens again, uh, I was advised to rinse the blade before I put it in the razor just in case um, any of that is on the razor and um, this has just a little bit of scuff marks so it could be exactly what Tony was explaining to me so we'll give that a rinse here Now I'm doing is run my fingers down the blade uh, to hopefully get whatever I can out of the blade. And uh, there is a blade there. So <clears throat> we shall see how it 
we got on with it. So thank you very much for all the tips that you guys left on my uh, video. I really do appreciate it. And um, let me rinse this and I'll be right back, guys. <clears throat> all right. So I just got out the shower. I've got two days of growth. My face is feeling good. So let's see how we do on today's shave. Now this is a ginormous brush. <clears throat> and uh, hopefully we get a good shave here today with this blade. Cause I was told since I really loved the way the treats work that um, I would really love the way these personas work. Or the, the way that the personas work a whole lot better, should I say. So here you have it. You don't need to load much with this, with this one. Check that out. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, yeah, so. Like I was saying, thanks for all the, um, useful tips on my last video I really appreciate it Put a lot of water in here. <clears throat> Clean out my tub. <laughs> Holy moly. Sorry about that, guys. So hopefully we get a good share from the soap. Uh, and what I mean by that, I mean no reactions. Cause I would be just devastated. I wanted this um, soap for a while now. And uh, that would really suck if I got a reaction to it. First pass with the grain. Let's see how, see how we get on with this.
I showed the video to my wife and she says that the uh, feedback of the blade sounded like a laughing duck. <laughs> The blade feels a whole lot more smoother. That's def definitely noticeable. First pass down. Really good shave. And this is my first um full size set of um, the CK6 formula. The only time I ever tried the CK6 formula was uh, the sample I got from ESP when I went to uh, one of the meetups in San Diego. And that ESP scent is just absolutely amazing. The scent is just awesome. I can't wait for that to come out. I'm going to be picking that up.
Wow. So it can pass down and that went really well. Let's see what we had to do on this pass. I was told by many viewers that these blades last quite a long time. So I'm pretty interested to see how, how far I can get with them. Man, I'll tell you what, not at all a bad shaver for two days of growth. Gotta sneeze. Wow. Well, pass of flying colors. And um, I would say that they're pretty damn close in similarity to the shape, but these are just a tad bit more smoother. Man, phenomenal, phenomenal shave. Oh, look at all that water still stuck in there. <laughs> 
Look at that. Nice. All right, guys, I'll be back. I'm gonna do my clean passes off camera. All right, guys. Let's get in with the Allen stick. Nice. Man, I've been so so happy now that I'm able to use this razor. Fantastic. All right, guys, let me rinse off. I'll be back. All right. Fantastic. Let's get in with the matching after shave splash. Now, one thing I am bum bummed about is um, Douglas's soaps normally are um, much more um, brighter or should I say a uh, stronger and um, that wasn't the case with the soap now I'm hoping I get a much more um, stronger scent from the aftershave but I'm really used to uh how strong his uh scents are and this is nice don't get me wrong it's a very nice decent uh um, amount of strength from it but i'm just really really um used to his really strong stuff and wow oh this uh aftershave is, is really really good um wow I don't even need a bomb. Holy moly. Um, should I put a bomb on? Wow. This is gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh, the scent, okay, the scent is on. No, the scent is strong. Yeah. The scent is, is coming out now. Yeah, it's really strong. Um, light on the soap, but very strong in the, in the, in the aftershave. Wow. Um, No, I, I do not need a, a bomb for that. That is uh, that feels really really awesome. Got a little hair here. Wow, that is freaking awesome. Nope, we're not using a bomb. There's no need to. All right. Wow, just, that is an awesome aftershave. That is really, really gorgeous. I really love that. All right, guys, that is my shave. That concludes everything. Let me go ahead and do a recap. We went in with Doppelganger, Oxblood, Red Label, and the CK6 formula. There you have it. We went in with the matching aftershave splash. Beautiful, beautiful splash. We went in with the 1912 gym blade or gym razor. And uh, I did check the blade and there is no issues with the blade. Front or, front or back, here's the back. There you have it. So I will keep that in mind next time I use a blade to rinse it off before or after use. 
we went in with the Yaki Mocha 26 Badger. Super, super awesome uh, um, brush there. And we were going to use the Bomb, but there's absolutely no need for this. Um, and Blade of Choice were the uh, Ted Palos, right? Uh, Personas. Really, really awesome blades. Fantastic shave. Oh man, the scent is gorgeous and what an awesome aftershave. Oh, fantastic shave, guys. Hope y'all enjoy that and um, can't wait to see what we'll be, uh, what I'll be using next. So I got some other stuff coming in the mail uh, I'd like to share with you guys. But uh, that's my shave, guys. And uh, if you guys like what you see, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe as always. Thanks for joining me, guys. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Y'all stay safe out there. Later.